What's up everyone, Stoman here. Welcome to another episode of Stoman Angels NFT World. For those of you that don't know me, my handle name on Twitter is Stoman Angels. One of my missions right now is to give as much exposure to as many NFT artists as I can. I believe that everyone deserves a chance in the spotlight. So we have a great episode lined up here for you with amazing artwork. So again, let's go out into nature and see what kind of amazing pieces we can find this time. Now remember, this is not financial advice. These are just amazing pieces that we're showcasing from around the world. With that said, let's get this show started. Hello and welcome everyone to Fish Creek Provincial Park. If you'd like to contact the artist or view more pieces from the artist, their links are in the description below. Now let's get started. First up, we have Album Cover Art Collection NFT. His name is Dustin. He grew up in Florida with a single mother of two. When he did visit his father, they lived in his tattoo shop. When he visited, they would work on all types of artwork together. Even though he couldn't tattoo, he brought his work to life. He may not be able to tattoo, but he can draw. And with NFTs becoming the upcoming thing, he decided to give a try. He started out with one collection called The Variant Ghosts, just to get a feel for how things work. He then moved over to the album art collection NFT where everything within the collection is one of one, never duplicated or reused. Also, what's cooler than being able to work with other artists in the NFT community and the music community? Amazing job. Keep up the great work. Next up, Angelo Secchi Diart. His name is Angelo Secchi, and he lives in Sardinia, Italy. In 1994, he created the technique die art, a kind of dreamy photography. Die art artworks are created with a personal materic painting technique and then scanned in high resolution. They represent the perfect meeting point between traditional art and digital art because it is the light itself passing through matter and color to generate the final image. By this technique, he's realized over 500 pieces that explore in frames history of life and universe. Love this piece. Keep up the amazing job. Animal King's NFT. Never call anyone a primate unless you are sure of your facts. If we look straight and deep into a chimpanzee's eyes, an intellect self-assured personality looks back at us. If they are animals, what must we be? Some of the NFT sales will go to Campaign Save Our Zoos in Indonesia. Let's start an NFT community for movement. Love this cause. Keep up the great work. Next up, Armin. Every wrinkle on his face is an experience. It means that he has gone through difficult stages of life. These wrinkles make him look bad, but they make his soul very beautiful. Do not judge him by his appearance. Look inside him to understand who he is. Super interesting concept. Keep up the great work. All right, next up we have Baby Growth NFT. She is one artistic soul. She loves nature art, which shows in all her paintings. Most of her art is oil painted. I love this piece. Can't wait to see what you do next.
Next up, we have Bitey Bitehead. She uses her own physical paintings by converting them into electronic textures, incorporating them into each 3D animation. Here's the latest one, Modern Metropolis Alien Nymph. Love this piece. Keep up the great work. Next up, we have Crypto Dragons. In a faraway place of the Polygon blockchain, a unique group of 10,000 dragons live in peace and harmony. Love this collection. Keep up the great work. Next up, we have Crypto X9551. They are a father and son combination of arts, both hand-drawn collections, photography, and of course the Crypto X design collection with many different styles sure to find one just for you. Love this collection. Keep up the great work. Next up we have Edna.IMG. She is an Android developer from Georgia, but she creates NFTs on her spare time. Big Head Celebrity Collection aims to create the Big Head version of celebrities. New ones will be added every day. I love this idea and they are so well done. Keep up the great work. All right, so next up, now sorry if I pronounce this wrong, uh, we have Elahi1989. The artist's name is Ilahi Mohajiri. The name of her work of art is Elon Musk's Dogecoin Earthenware Jug. She made this work of art for her favorite hero, Elon Musk. She also loves Dogecoin because Elon Musk likes it. Well, there you have it. If you're going to create something, make sure it's filled with things you love. That is sure to bring out your passion in your project. Keep up the great work. Next up, Golden. Golden spent years living off the grid. This formative way of living created an understanding and respect for nature and how to live within its systems. His work continues to expand his understanding of the vertical time and horizon space of land and landscapes, as well as our expanding relationship with nature. Love this piece. Keep up the great work. Next up, we have Goose Invasion. Goose Invasion is a series of unique and original collectibles with a great potential recently released. In this collection, you can find geese with similar characteristics between some of them and others that are totally unique. The floor price starts from only 0.04 ETH to 0.25 ETH. In this last price range, are the most valuable for being the first phase to be created. Like this piece, inspired in a cowboy with a great work of curvatures in his hat. They work under the Polygon network, which ensures a super low cost of gas, thus being accessible to all users. Also to ensure a great value, all products are frozen. In addition to the unique collectible, the first 10 buyers will get a goose from a secret and unique collection and future exclusivities such as premium memberships, discounts, etc. Love this collection. Keep up the great work. Next up we have Jean-Yves Lemoyne. After co-exhibiting along artists like Nam Jum Pike, Bill Viola, and Gary Hill, Jean-Yves Lemoyne produced and directed fictions and documentaries for television. Then he founded a post-production company that specialized in short films, 
special effects, and billboards. He has also worked in European research projects based on multimedia search engines, semantic web, and recommendation engines. Jean-Yves Lemoyne is working on the convergence between creation, technology, and usage. Wow, that is some pretty cool stuff he was involved in. Keep up the great work. Next up, we have MD Hustle. The Hustle collection consists of great art piece. The Rabbit Hour is one of the strongest armed rabbit NFTs with great potential. Very cool piece. Keep up the great work. Next up, we have NFT ITA. This is the first crew apes. He will start to mint a collection of 1,000 rare apes to create a rare crew for the metaverse. I think this project is super cool. Can't wait to see what you do in the future. Next up, NFT Studio. He's a world traveler. He's someone that wakes up with a million ideas in his head. He is not good at drawing perfect lines with pencil. That's why he was not interested in art before. But graphic arts gave him the opportunity to share his ideas to the world. When you are a world traveler, you have a lot of free time. So he chooses to spend his free time creating NFTs. He is loving every bit of the process. Love this piece. Keep up the great work. Next up, we have Sarah Nasiri at yahoo.com. This is a dried flower that is 17 years old and reacts with light. This is a photo of three different modes of the flower, sunny day, night, and cloudy day. I think the world should see that this flower contains the message of love. Love this concept. Keep up the great work. Next up, UI Aliens. Genesis pieces are available on OpenSea. Sales will fund the UIA Bank, which is their mechanism for giving back to the community and supporting their holders. Full Mint is in March. I love how vibrant this piece is. Keep up the great work. Next up, Usher Studios. Each image is one of a kind. A collection of his flow paintings, which were exhibited in, an, in the exhibition, sold, have now been turned into his digital flow NFTs. As the canvas will not live forever, the digital image will remain. He likes to work with the element of chance and risk, which can create exciting effects. By using combinations of techniques like mixed media and experimentations, he tries to reach the effects he desires. He is interested in form, technique, and color, and how the outcome of the painting can be determined by temperature and balance. These images remind him of nature and the precious moments they leave behind. He will donate a percentage of his earnings when he sells to the WWF Foundation in order to help fight climate change. Love this piece. Keep up the great work. Last but not least, we have Z Wolk. Zach Wolkstein is a photographer and artist based in Santa Monica, California. Westward 2 is a collection of film photography exploring the great sunny and sometimes snowy state of California. Most of these limited edition photos were showcased in his recent 2021 solo gallery show. ZX30 in Thomas Hartman's private gallery studio in Santa Monica, California. In 2020, he had another solo show in a private gallery home in Culver City, California. Westward One was a limited edition coffee table photo book. Only 50 copies were created and sold in 2019. Love this piece. I wish I were there enjoying some of that sun. Keep up the amazing job. Well, that wraps up another episode. Thank you so much for watching the whole way through. 
If you liked the video, please smash the like button and don't forget to subscribe. If you have any feedback on how I can make this show better to serve the artists that I'm showcasing, please leave a comment below. And I go through all the comments. I'm more than happy to go through them and, uh, and implement them. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time. Until then, keep on creating.